Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we're gonna to be setting up a 40 gallon turtle tank. This right here is my 40 gallon breeder tank. I did try setting this up for my turtles a couple videos ago, but that didn't exactly go to plan. You guys will just have to watch that video if you wanna hear more about that. But yeah, we are gonna be starting over, retrying today, and it's actually gonna work out this time because we are going with a much more simple setup, something beginner friendly. So if you guys are like watching this video to set up your first turtle tank, this will be great for that. This new 40 gallon tank is going to be for my three young turtles. You can see the albino one one right back there and I've got two more in here somewhere in hiding oh there's one of them down there but yeah I don't really like the look of this tub anymore I just want to get rid of it already and I've been wanting to move these turtles into like a glass aquarium for a long time now so the three of them are going to be going in this tank and with that being said I actually do not recommend having three turtles in a 40 gallon tank together unless they're like hatchlings then they'll probably be fine in there but generally speaking you want to have at least 10 gallons of water per inch of shell on your turtle so just be sure to keep that in mind but this 40 gallon tank is just going to be a temporary home for all three of them eventually I'm I'm gonna move the two bigger ones into that 55 gallon tank. I just have to get that ready for them. But yeah, a 40 gallon tank is a great like starter turtle tank size. If you only have like one baby turtle, it'll be fine in a 40 gallon for at least a couple years. So I would definitely recommend this tank size and I am super excited to see how this tank turns out. I hope you guys are too. So be sure to stay tuned and stick along. It's gonna be a fun video. And we are gonna start this one off by going over to PetSmart because we do need a couple things. First of all, I wanna get like a screen lid to go over the top, which can completely eliminate the chance of the turtle somehow climbing out. And then also also, you can see this thing back here that is a lamp rack we'll talk more about the lamps later but I actually don't want to use this rack I just want to have the screen lid so these lamps can sit right on top of that that'll just make things much easier and then yeah kind of speaking of those lamps we do need a basking area which for anyone that doesn't know is like a dry land area where your turtles can get out completely dry off and bask we already have our lamps right here and you can actually see that this is a double lamp fixture we have our heat bulb in this one and then our UVB bulb in this one you do need both of those the heat bulb is what they'll use to like regulate their body temperature since they are cold blooded animals and then the uvb bulb helps with their like shell growth and development and it also helps them digest their food i'm pretty sure so if you're setting up a turtle tank you do need both of those bulbs but yeah, anyway like i said we do need a basking area something that they can physically sit on and i'm not sure what i want to go with yet we're just going to go to the pet store and kind of take a look around see what they have and we'll also take a look at the filters if we can't find anything i do have a couple filters here that i could use and then i think i also have all the decorations here like the substrate rocks plants stuff like that i do also need a couple chemicals i just just ran out of water conditioner. I also need some beneficial bacteria starter. So we're gonna get all that. We're gonna get everything we need. And with all that being said, I'll see you at the store. All right guys, so I'm here at PetSmart. And as you can see, they actually have quite a few selections for a basking area. And these three up top are definitely the three that I'm considering. Uh, probably not really the wood one. I guess these two. These would definitely look awesome in the 40 gallon tank. And I think that that price tag is for that one. And then that's for that one. So we're looking at a $50 difference between these two. So I am definitely going with the cheaper one i think it's gonna be that one so we're gonna pick that up and right down here we've got our screen cover for 40 gallon breeder tanks perfect we're also gonna get that i also just went ahead and picked up some more prime water conditioner and then also some top fin bacteria starter we'll talk more about these when we get back to the house so we're gonna get this all loaded up in the truck and i'll see you guys back at home all right guys we made it back from PetSmart. got all of our stuff right there and i did take a look at the filters and didn't really see anything i liked so we will just use this one right here we can always upgrade that later on and real quick, I just want to make sure our screen cover fits perfectly. And yes, it does. So we can finally start setting up the tank. And the first thing I want to do is just wipe down the inside of the glass real good. Just to get off any dust or anything else that might be on it. So now that the inside of our tank is wiped down, the next thing I wanna do is add in the substrate, which in case you don't know is like gravel or sand that goes on the bottom of the tank. And in this case, we are actually gonna be using both of those things. Most of the substrate is gonna be gravel, but then like in the back left corner, we're gonna have sand so that if any of my turtles wanna bury themselves, they can easily do that. So right here, we've got a whole mess of substrate. This is sand and gravel. You can see the gravel is pretty big. That's what you want in a turtle tank so that your turtles can't ingest the gravel. For example, you wouldn't wanna use gravel like this in a turtle tank, cause that's small enough to where your turtles could probably eat it and that would cause all kinds of trouble so this is what we are going to be using it's kind of going to look like this actually you can see we got sand and gravel in this frog tank and i took this out of one of my tanks yesterday so it's all good to go if you guys like bought your substrate brand new like i'm sure most of you did you definitely want to rinse that down real good before putting it in the tank in this case we don't really need to do that so we're just going to go right ahead and start putting the substrate into the tank
All right, guys, so as you saw there, all of our substrate is in. So you can see this right here is like a combo between that sand and gravel, which I actually really like the look of. But then right over here in this back left corner, I made a little rock wall right there. Then I put all sand up in that area, and then it kind of fades down into the gravel. It's gonna look super cool whenever it's all said and done. And now the next thing we need to do is get our basking area in there. I just went ahead and rinsed it down so it is ready to go. And as I mentioned at the store, this thing was $50, which is actually super pricey. I just wanted something that looks good and is like super easy to handle. I didn't want to deal with like stacking up real rocks and you can see this also forms a nice little cave which turtles love So this is what I decided to go with you guys can obviously go with some cheaper options if that's what you want to do And there's a horrible glare on the glass right now That'll get better whenever we fill the tank up But that basking area is gonna look awesome and it's at like the perfect level too Also over here in the turtle tub I have this nice piece of driftwood soaking filling up with water So it sinks and I do want to use that in this turtle tank I think I want to have that like coming down from the sand area something like that We can maybe put some plants by behind it make it look like a fallen tree or something but yeah that should be good right there and now the next thing to do is fill it with water Alrighty guys, so the tank is full, or at least at the level where it needs to be. And you can see I also went ahead and got our filter running, and I'm definitely happy with how powerful that flow is. That should be enough for this tank. And now that our water is in, we do need to add in our prime water conditioner. You can use like any water conditioner though, they all pretty much do the same thing, which is remove the chlorine from the water, which you gotta do for your pet turtles. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in. So we're now getting that screen lid on there, because I do wanna see what it looks like with the lamps on. In three, two, one. There it is. And yeah, that looks nice. We'll probably eventually get like a stronger LED strip to go over the top of it. I'll just take this one from my 75 for a sec so we can get a good look. And it definitely is looking pretty good, but I do think it could use something else. Like I think I wanna have some kind of rock right there and maybe put a plant behind it. I definitely wanna put some plants behind this driftwood. So that is what we're gonna do now. I just got some stuff out of a couple of my other tanks. Got this rock right here. And I'll put one of these tall plants over here in this corner. I'll put the other tall one right back here. And I've got this nicer one that I want to put right here behind this rock. Then I've got one more that I want to put right up here in this corner. And yeah, those plants definitely made this tank look a lot better. And now we are almost done. Like there's only a couple more things we need to do. The first being add in the heater. This is what's going to keep the water at the proper temperature for our turtles. So we're going to have that right back here behind this plant, nice and hidden away. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And now the very last thing we need to do to this turtle tank is add in our beneficial bacteria starter. There's a better look at that. This is basically going to start the cycle in this tank. In other words, it's going to make this aquarium into an actual ecosystem so that waste and uneaten food can be properly broken down, stuff like that. This pretty much gets the water completely ready to where we could add fish and our turtles and whatever else. And with that, this tank is done, ready to go. And man, just look at that thing from a distance. That turned out amazing. And look at the cave that the basking area forms. That is gonna be awesome for the turtles. I already know they're gonna love it. But before we do put the turtles into this tank, I do wanna give it a little bit of time just to get up to that proper temperature. I wanna give that heater some time to work. That water is still a bit cold. So that'll probably take an hour or two. So we're gonna let this tank sit for a little bit. Then we'll be back down here to put our turtles in there. And with that being said, I'll see you then. Alright guys, it has been about two hours. I just went ahead and felt the water in the turtle tank and it is where it needs to be. And I just cannot wait to see our turtles in there. So with that being said, we're just gonna go right ahead and put them in there. Alright guys, we will start with Toby, our pink belly side neck. We'll go ahead and put him on the basking area. And there he goes into the water. Looks like he's kind of stuck in that plant down there. We'll let him get that figured out and we'll check up with him in a sec. But now on to the next one. We've got our albino red-eared slider, Midas. So we'll get him on in there. And he's immediately gonna hop in the water. And man, look at that. I have never seen Midas in a glass aquarium. That is so cool. And he looks big in there. Oh, looks like Toby just came up out of that plant. That's good to see. But yeah, look at Midas. That is gonna be awesome watching him like through the tank instead of having to look at him from above in that turtle tub. And look at him go. He's just exploring along the bottom. That's awesome. He's gonna love it in here. And then lastly, we've got Junior, the red-eared slider, and he's trying to get away from me. So we're gonna get him on in there real quick. And he also hops right into the water. Oh, looks like Midas is tucking himself up under that driftwood. Junior is also right back there. Definitely looking a bit suspicious. And Toby right over there just still kind of processing everything it is definitely going to take them a little bit to get used to everything oh looks like toby's actually heading into the cave but yeah anytime you add a turtle into a new enclosure like this they're going to take a little bit of time to just get acclimated to it i mean this is 100 different from their old enclosure this one has substrate has plants more places to hang out their old tub literally just had a stick and a stone so they are definitely going to be a lot happier in this turtle tank but yeah like i just mentioned a second ago midas looks very big in that tank and so does 
Tortoise Jr. They're about the same size. And if you remember earlier in this video, I said that two of these turtles are going to be going in the 55 eventually. And those two bigger turtles are the ones I'm talking about. So they will not be in this tank for that long. I just need to get the 55 all situated. But for the time being, they'll be just fine. And we are going to give them some time to get used to that new tank. I'm going to check in on them in the morning, see how they're doing. I doubt any of them will eat this soon, but might try and feed them. I don't know. But either way, I will see you in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is now the next day and let's just go right ahead and check in on our turtle tank. Right off the bat, you can tell the water cleared up. It is now looking just about crystal clear. You can see Toby zooming back there. And then the other two turtles are chilling in the cave right now. And I knew that that cave was going to be their main hangout spot. Oh yeah, and also, if you guys take a closer look, I did put a few fish in there. Those three little fish were in the tub with the turtles. And I'm now using this tub to soak some driftwood that I want to use in some tanks. So I wanted to get those fish out of there. And since we added this stuff, our water is completely completely safe and ready to go for fish. And I put them in there last night and you can see they are doing great. We are gonna be adding some more fish to this turtle tank probably in my next video. So with that being said, let me know what kind of fish you guys wanna see in this turtle tank. A few other things, first of all, last night I said I might try and feed them today. I did actually try and feed them a couple hours ago and none of them ate as I thought they wouldn't. But that's all right, that's what I expected and we will probably try again feeding them in my next video. You guys will probably see that. And then a couple other things that I forgot to address when we initially set up this tank. I did use all fake plants in this tank tank and that's just preference really like you guys can use live plants if you want to but I haven't really had the best luck with live plants in the past so that's why I decided to go with fake plants also ever since the beginning of this video I had this background on the tank you can see it looks all naturalistic back there and that is just a paper background that I got from PetSmart backgrounds are not required but I mean they definitely make the tank look a lot better and then lastly you can see we do have a cave in this turtle tank and it is nice and large it has a very big opening so the turtles can easily make their way in and out if you guys do have caves in your turtle tank make Make sure that your turtle can easily get in and out of them. I have had issues with that in the past. Like one time I had a turtle in my 55 with this piece of driftwood and he actually swam into the driftwood one way and then tried to get out another and got himself stuck right there. Luckily I was in the room to get him out. But yeah, the point is just make sure there's nothing in the tank that your turtle can get like lodged on or stuck in. And I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and maybe learned a thing or two about setting up a turtle tank. Today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am gonna see you in the next video.